and I ran for eight minutes and nine seconds. Just got back from a 24 minute run right now, broke five kilometers. So I did it in 26 minutes and 16 seconds. I actually just did my run uh, today and it was 28 minutes and 45 seconds. Today I had my longest run ever at about 6.02 kilometers. I did have my longest run ever, which was six and a half K. So I ran for like 39 minutes and it says the distance was 7.52 kilometers. All right, so today is the day. It looks like I'm running my 10K today. It's a beautiful winter day out today. It's really sunny, it's nice, it's not too cold. I'll show you outside. So it looks like a pretty, pretty nice day out there today, if you can see. Okay, so I'm just gonna have some uh, pre-run fruit here. I'm gonna just have a little small snack here. I'm actually on an empty stomach right now. This looks amazing, by the way. All right, so here I am in my car. I'm actually gonna be using the odometer in my car and I'm gonna drive out my route. So I'm gonna go like 2.5K out, 2.5 back, 2.5 out, and then 2.5 back again. And that's gonna be kind of like the route for the uh, 10K. That way, like halfway through, I could have my water station at my house here. All right, so I just mapped out the route and it actually looks better than expected. I was worried there was gonna be like a lot of ice and like slush and stuff, but there's only like one little area that is a little bit slushy, but other than that, the route's like really clean roads and everything. So uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Wait a long time for this and uh, gonna go out there and uh, crush that 10K. One eternity later. And that is it. Yeah! That is the 10K. <sighs> Turned out to be a really good run. I was feeling a little bit weak around like 6K. I started losing form a little bit because I don't know, I guess it's been a long time since I last ran, but I ran the whole thing, no breaks. 54 minutes, 54 seconds, which is pretty damn good. I think that's a little bit slow too. It's a little bit faster than that too because uh, the time was, uh, or the distance was a little fast on the Apple Watch. So it's a good thing I mapped it out with the car there so I can get absolutely for sure a 10K, but damn, it feels good. <laughs> a lot of mental battles during that run. I knew I, I, knew I couldn't stop, like I, I had to keep going. I worked way too hard to build up to this. And uh, I was thinking about, to motivate myself during the run, I was just thinking about all those other runs I did to train. All those times I didn't want to run, but I still ran anyways. Even today, like I've been dreading this 10K run for a long time and now to finally get it in the books, it just feels really good. And uh, yeah, I think it was really cool. The route that I did, like, honestly, like the hardest mental part for the run was between like three and a half to like 7K. And then once I hit like 7K, I was so close to turnaround point, I was just half a kilometer from the turnaround point. And then once I hit that turnaround point, it was just like, I knew I was running home and running towards the end. So it was, uh, it was good, but yeah. So I guess that concludes the uh, journey to 10K. And uh, damn, feels good to be here. <laughs> I, uh, I thought it was a little bit of an ambitious goal at the start. I know 10K doesn't seem like a lot to a lot of people, but for me, it was like the twice the distance I've ever ran in my life. And then even before that, I used to take walking breaks when I ran, so to run nonstop, was pretty good and uh, <clears throat> yeah so for the injuries the foot held up pretty good it's a little sore it's just a weird injury I'm not even sure what it is and then the uh, the hip I've been having some like I don't know occasionally I get these like hip pains and so my right hip was uh, was acting up a little bit towards the end there but overall fantastic run feels good to have the uh, the 10k in the books there and I'm definitely just gonna take it easy for the rest of the night Give myself a well-earned lunch and shower and yeah that's the journey to 10k i'm sorry if i didn't get a lot of uh stuff filmed today i'm just doing this by myself i would have loved to have the ending and everything filmed but uh, i ran strong there's a hill at the end so i kind of did that on purpose but ran strong up the hill it's good form so it would have been nice to see that but most of like the last like the last like, quarter of it my form was all kind of fucked. <laughs> and that was like the longest I ever ran, right? So I tried to improve it at times 
And that's kind of why I think my hip hurts is just because my form wasn't so good there at the end. Just kind of shuffling my feet and not really pulling them up like I should be. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna take it easy, hit the bike and everything, take a little break from running. Uh, we'll see, maybe I'll get in some small runs when the weather clears up a little bit or the roads are good. That's it, I got a, a water bottle on course that I gotta go pick up. And that's the journey to 10K. I hope it uh, inspires you guys. And uh, yeah, something else I was thinking about during, uh, during my run, let me just switch hands here. Something else I was thinking about during my run was, I can't let all these fucking people down, right? Like I did that to myself on purpose, was just like tell a bunch of people what I was doing and thought about you guys and your comments and your support. And I just really appreciate that. And it, uh, yeah, it's definitely very motivating for me. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah, going forward, 2022, next thing is half marathon. So I'm gonna double this distance and add a little kilometer on top of that. And I'm gonna hate myself for that too. And then I got some other, more, even more ambitious goals for 2023 and 2024. So yeah, that's everything. Hips a little sore now. <laughs> gonna go have some lunch. I gotta go pick up a, one of these water bottles that I threw off on route there. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all next week for a New Year's video. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks again for your support and take care. Peace. Also, please subscribe as well. I kind of forgot to say that, but yes, please subscribe. It'd be great. Thank you.